Lee, not too many people thought that you'd be sat here uh, going into the playoffs, but here you are. I don't think you're surprised, though, are you? Uh, I am a bit from when we started the season. Uh, we, we were slipping up in too many games and letting teams off the hook and losing by two points the wrong way, but I 100% believed in the team. <coughs> And if we played to our potential, that we'd turn them games and potentially win them games when we got the, the re reverse fixture. So, luckily enough, we've, we've sort of clicked. We've, we've won our last eight, nine games now, and uh, like I say, it's led us to where we are now. We've finished third, so we're very happy. How would you go from fighting for your lives this time last year to, to fighting for you know, a place at Old Trafford and at the grand final? I think it's a, I think it's a bit of belief, mate. Um, like I say, that, that sort of carried on into the start of the year as well. We were losing games by two points, four points, drop goals. And I think that was, it, it just was a bit of belief. We weren't sort of putting them games to bed where we had ample opportunities to do so. And then for whatever reason, we just sort of won a couple on the bounce, then three, then four. And then that, that belief just comes from that. And then uh, luckily we've kicked on. And uh, yeah, now we're, we're in with the big boys and we're going in with a bit of momentum as well. And obviously you've been in this situation before with, when, yeah, during your time at Wigan and yeah. playing in, in grand finals and playoffs. What's your role over the next few weeks in terms of guiding players through this process that perhaps haven't been in? Um, I'll probably say keep them grounded, but I don't think I need to do that, to be honest. I think it's just more so just try and make this team realise its potential. Uh, I had an interview a couple of weeks back and somebody asked me, do you, do you generally think that you can do anything in this playoffs? And I, I all heartedly do. Uh, I think if we click and play our best best rugby as a team and 117 bring that 8 out of 10 minimum game then we'll trouble any team and I think we can go all the way. And Friday night is arguably, well not even arguably, it is the two form teams in the comp coming up. What do you have to do to beat Wigan? Uh, <clears throat> just stay with them. Uh, Wigan's done it for the last 6-7 years on the bounds. They, they know how to win these games. It's, it's, sort of a, it's that magic formula. and. Uh, I think it's all about just staying with them. Obviously, there'll be times in the game where it, things will go against you, and Wigan will, no doubt, it, with the players they've got, they'll, they'll turn the runner play against you, and they'll go the other end. And it's just a case of staying in that arm wrestle, and it's it's a bit cliche and a bit boring, but I think that's what it is. I think if we can defend the way we have been doing for 60, 70 minutes, then uh, I think we will come out on top. And does having that that second chance, having you know, kind of finishing third, having that second chance, is that? take the pressure off? Does it make it easier going into these games or is it just a case of you're imagining that you're not in that situation almost? Yeah, I, I'd like to, if anything, I'd like, not that I wouldn't like to, I'd like to finish uh, further down, but I'd, I'd like it if it'd just be do or die. Every game's a grand final to us now and that, that's the way we're going to try and approach it. We don't want to get beat off Wigan and then go in against uh, the losers as the fourth, 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 fifth, fifth. We just want to keep winning now, keep keeping that momentum going. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're, we're Approaching it as a do or die. That's all. all Cheers, good. mate. Thanks, mate. No problem. Good stuff.